What's up guys, Samsung just launched a Galaxy Note 10, complete with a brand new Exynos 9825 processor that's slightly faster than the Galaxy S10's Exynos 9820 at least in benchmarks. However, these clips can't offer the same performance as Apple's 2018 iPhones when it comes to test. And the new leak indicates that the Galaxy S11's Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor won't beat the 812 series either, but the 865 should deliver notable performance gains over the Snapdragon 855. A device identified as Qualcomm Kona running Android 10 on a Snapdragon chipset and 6 gigs of RAM scored 4149 and 12915 in single and multi-core tests. This is probably a reference device used to develop next generation smartphone chip that will power many of the iPhone 11's rivals next year from Galaxy S11 all the way to the Pixel 5. All the credit of this leak goes to the prolific tipster and the leakster Ice Universe. These early scores suggest that Snapdragon 8 65 will deliver significant performance gains over its predecessors, which reached a score of around 3,400 and 10,600 in the same test. Meanwhile, the iPhone XS Max scored a sit at about 4,800 and 11,200, with the Exynos 9825 reaching 4,300 and 9,800 points in the same Geekbench benchmarks. As before, benchmark tests don't tell the whole story, and the Snapdragon 865 that will ship inside commercial phone next year will probably be even faster. However, Apple's upcoming iPhone 11 phones will feature a brand new A13 processor, which should offer performance and efficiency gains over the iPhone XS. XS A12. So Apple is likely to maintain its lead over rivals when it comes to mobile processing power. It's likely that all the chips including the Snapdragon 865, Exynos 9825 and A13 will be built on 7 nanometer EUV process. At this time, only the 9825's 7 nanometer EUV underlying tech is confirmed. Apple will unveil the A13 series in September, while Qualcomm's A65 should be unveiled later this year. So yeah, that's it for today. Now, what's your thoughts on this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And yeah, smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more today's news. And as always, I will catch you tomorrow in the next one. Peace out.